Hello everyone and welcome to Bumpy. I know I'm a little behind schedule, but you know, things happen. Grandkids came over last night. We're here till late. Jaden spent the night with me, so I got a little behind on my video schedules. Okay, so today is the day you've been waiting for, my farmhouse neutral Valentine's home tour. And if you've been following me, you know that a lot of these decors are all Dollar Tree finds, but revamped them into a neutral farmhouse palette and made it more of a farmhouse look. That playlist will be linked below if you want to check out all the items that you'll be seeing in this home tour that I have made. There is a video on each of them. Also, I'll have a little DIY uh, clip in the middle of this home tour to show you how I made some heart-shaped banner. And I am also collaborating in this home tour with my Cali YouTube friend, Davida Lane. Guys, you need to check out her channel. She makes these amazing faux foods. She makes cupcakes, cakes, cookies, lollipops. Amazing. Check out her videos because she has many tutorials on those items. Davida Delane has invited YouTubers to show their Valentine's home for 2019. There'll be a playlist link below if you want to check out my other YouTube sisterhood community here on YouTube and you want to see what their houses look like. Okay, with all that being said, let's get started and let me show you my Valentine's Farmhouse Neutral Home Tour 2019. Start here with my china cabinet in the dining room. And in the back, this is a love sign from the Dollar Tree. And this was available somewhere in the summer. It had butterflies uh, where I have those um, burlap circles with the little pearls on it. Um, I just got a piece of wood, stained it, painted the love sign white, uh, did the burlap circles on there, and I actually made this for my niece's wedding in the summer. Here I had these hearts that I picked up. I don't remember exactly where I picked them up. I think I picked them up at the 99 cent store and they're just foam white hearts. I just glued them to a piece of twine and just added it to the china cabinet. The china cabinet um, kind of stayed the same as my after Christmas tour. And I did add these heart doilies from the Dollar Tree. And I did this to every single shelf. That is a very cheap way to decorate because you get 24 of these heart doilies for just $1, guys. As you can see, I did remove all the milk glass pieces, uh, but one, because I wanna share that one with you because I did get my cabinet um, already built for that. But I want to show you that yesterday I got a friend mail from my friend Don Mazzarotti. She's also a YouTuber, so I'll link her channel below if you want to check her out. She's the type of girl that likes to go live uh, late at night and do chit chats. And she's a thrifter. And thank you so much, Don. Love it. As you can see, this is a three piece hob nail candle holders guys is that gorgeous or what I can't wait to do a centerpiece with that uh, for spring so I'm loving it so much that I did um, set it here on the china cabinet so I can enjoy it so there it is my china cabinet Okay, coming to the dining room. The dining room, there's a complete full video on how to make that centerpiece. 
and um, detailed where I got everything. So I'll link that card above if you want to go ahead and watch that video. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Then over here, I used to have an apple corner and I actually turn this wall here for right now in a neutral farmhouse. Look, there's a Dollar Tree Freshly Baked with Love sign. And there's another Dollar Tree sign. And here's another one. And what I did is I added the remaining flowers that I have left over from the dining room centerpiece. I added some Dollar Tree onion grass in the back and a couple of flowers to the front. Let me show you in a short clip how I made these hearts. For these hearts, very simple guys, I just used the back of these leftover hearts that I had from that other project. And I went ahead and just added some almost glue, this one here. Then added a small doily, kind of centered it in. And then I just made a twine bow by using my hand and wrapping the twine four times. then tying it with a piece of twine like so. Didn't want these hearts to go to waste so there I go putting doily and bow on them and I can use them around the house to decorate. See how simple it was uh, to make those heart with the leftover materials that I had. Then up here, I have one of my heart doily banners. And as you can see, I used two small doilies, a bigger doily, and two of the smaller ones. And I think that turned out really cute. Now I'll insert a little clip of how I made that banner. To make your heart banner, you will need twine from the Dollar Tree and the small size doilies. I believe they come 48 per package and then the bigger ones come 24 per package. These are the bigger ones here. Okay, but I'm using the smaller ones. They also come in pink and red as well. So I'm actually just going to use three and what you're going to do is you're going to insert, if you see here there's a hole here and a hole here. So I'm going to insert through here and I'm going to go out through here. Like so. See, and then I leave a piece of twine in the middle of the heart. And then I can just go ahead and slide over my heart. Nice and careful. And again, I'm going to insert in here. And there you have it. What an inexpensive way to make a Valentine's romantic farmhouse little banner. Guys, that was really easy to make. And I love the way that um, twine is in the middle like that of the heart. Now coming to the entertainment center. If you remember, this is a thrift find. I just added a faux plant for right now until I make more plants 
in the back I have a little vase with some Dollar Tree baby's breath and then these two little birds from the 99 cent store. Up here stayed the same and then over here is another Dollar Tree sign that I revamped the ha and I wrote happy and then the 2019 and, and I'll link that card above if you'd like to see that video. Here I just have the little bird with a uh, white vase with some Dollar Tree baby's breath and then natural plants inside my vintage suitcase. Down here there's nothing really Valentine's. If you remember this thrift find of mine, uh, I did add just fresh rosemary that I just grabbed from my yard. There's also that basket that I want to put up on the wall with the natural plant. For this section over here, uh, this is another um, wedding sign that I made. Stain a piece of wood, add rope around it. I got those letters at the 99 and they were four for a dollar. And I just painted the letters, the X and the O's, which means hugs and kisses. Coming up here, I have a plant, and then I got this for 50 cents at the thrift store that says, Love is Spoken Here. I love the old look that it has. Forgot to add uh, some twine uh, to the picture frame. But I think it's adorable, it looks really cute. And then over here is basically the same, and as you can see, there is um, one of the DIYs that I did using Dollar Tree items. And we have the two little birdies, a natural plant, a natural plant hanging as well. And here is more of the doily banner coming down from the shelf. Over here is my coffee bar. And these toperies were all Dollar Tree DIY. And I'll add that card up on top for you to watch if you haven't seen how I made those. And over here I just added some Dollar Tree chocolates. And then these coasters I got at the 99 cents only store. Over here I added another heart uh, that I made with leftover materials. And over here, I was able to find these white uh, mugs at the 99 cent store with the gold love on them. And then here is uh, actually last year's uh, Christmas gift that says Queen Bee. And then another uh, white mug with the love on it. Okay, over here is another Dollar Tree DIY that I made. And then I had gotten this little heart wreath for 50 cents at a thrift store. I absolutely love the combination, how that turned out inside that picture frame. And then right under this picture frame, I have this natural plant. Again, using another one of those doily a heart. Okay, and then over here I have this 75 cents of makes this house a home. And that is in the black and white. And then this is also the same video as this for the Dollar Tree DIY. So I'll add that card up on top if you want to watch that. And then just like the other side, I went ahead and made another heart banner using the doilies. Over here on the table, I just again use some simple Dollar Tree doilies to make myself a runner and then I just added one heart under that natural plant. And this P.S. I Love You is also a Dollar Tree DIY. 
Okay, over here in the window, we have the Dollar Tree wreath with also this Dollar Tree DIY, and there's a video on that. I'll post the card. And I'm not seeing the camera pick this up, guys. There we go. Like I said, I have a DIY on this project. This was just really uh, simple to make. Okay, the couch area is still the same. I made those pillows using the microfiber from the Dollar Tree and the auto department. And then over here, I made another heart doily. And then this I got at the 99 cent store for one dollar. Love that. And that was the only one that they had. Over here, this is an apple box that I had. And all I did was added some twine around the box without even using glue. And I tied it in the back. And then I just added these two toperies. There is another um, heart that I made out of doilies. Thank you so much everyone for watching my Valentine's Farmhouse 2019 home tour. Remember there's a playlist with other creators uh, linked below if you want to check out their videos. And don't forget to check out my friend Tavita Delane and to visit her channel all you have to do is click right here on her picture and it'll take you directly there. Thanks and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.